So if you love your winter pike fishing and you also love a swim bait, this video is going to be for you. It's all about fishing our jointed pro shads. And because it's nearly Christmas, we thought we'd be really generous and give away some of these fantastic lures. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and comment below. And we'll pick a winner in the new year. Now I hope you really enjoy this video and pick a few little tips out of it that will help you put more fish on the bank. So enjoy. You can't beat watching a fish take a lure, especially when it's right at your feet. The weather's been pretty lousy today, but that take that I've had from this pike has pretty much just made up for it. So let's get him out and have a look. So this fish just took a jointed pro shad and I'm about to get him back now, but if you'd like to see how I like to fish the jointed pro shads, then carry on watching. When it comes to lures, it's amazing how a change of action can sometimes make all the difference on a difficult day's fishing. And if you're targeting pike, perch or zander, you can't normally go far wrong with something like a swim bait, like a, a, a pro shad. But there are other times where, as I say, a different action can turn a difficult day's fishing into a really good one. And if you're looking for a change of profile when it comes to swim baits, the jointed pro shad is definitely worth a try. So instead of ha having a paddle tail at the end of the soft bait, like what we have with the normal pro shad here, with the jointed pro shad, it has a flat tail, but it's got four segments running through the middle of the body. And when you retrieve it through the water, it basically swims in like a, a subtle S-shaped action. And it's a really enticing looking lure. There are three different sizes in the range, 14, 18 and 23 centimetres, and there's six different colours, a mixture of brighter colours for fishing in muddier water, or duller colours for fishing places like the crystal clear gravel pit that I've been fishing today. So today I've mainly been using the duller colours like UV perch, UV roach and UV stickleback, but for fishing in, in stained water, for example, I might consider something like the UV lemon tiger. And the great thing is about the jointed pro shads is that there are quite a few ways that you can rig them depending on the situation that you're fishing in. There are various different ways of rigging the jointed pro shad and by far the simplest way to get started is by buying one of the pre-rigged packs which has got a titanium harness fixed onto the front of the lure and that's ready to just clip onto the front of your trace and get fishing with. Now you can buy the jointed pro shad separately in bulk and you can buy the titanium harnesses separately as well and customise them in your own way. And there are other options for rigging as well. The titanium harness is great for fishing in shallow water or if you're fishing high up in the water column. But if you want to fish your jointed pro shad in deeper water, for example on a deep gravel pit, reservoir or maybe a weir pool, I replace the screw at the front of the harness and replace it with a corkscrew head. So as an example I've rigged this one up. This is rigged with a 15 gram bullet shaped corkscrew head which is great for fishing swim baits on a straight retrieve and I've used the split ring pliers to open up the split ring at the front of the harness and replace it with the corkscrew head. So there's an eye on either side of the corkscrew. The one at the front is situated on top. The one furthest back towards the screw is attached to the harness. So that's all rigged and ready to go for fishing in deep water. So I really hope you're enjoying the video. Um, I've got a question for everyone viewing though. I'd love to know what your favourite colours are for A, coloured water and B, clear water. So drop some comments below, let us know. It'd be really interesting to find out what everyone's favourite colours are. There are other ways of customising the jointed pro shad without using the titanium harness, depending on the situation that you're fishing in. 
and a couple of those ways are to rig it with a stinger or a double stinger rigged on a corkscrew jig head. So I've got one rigged up here on a double stinger and this is actually what I've been mainly using for most of the day today because I'm only fishing on a shallow gravel pit. So I've rigged it with the lightest corkscrew weight that I have which is five grams and it's swimming really nicely. So with the double stinger this is something that I would use if the fish are being a little bit finicky which they have been today but if the fish are really up for it I would replace this double stinger with a normal stinger. Lastly, for fishing shallow or weedy venues like the lake I'm fishing today, if you find that you're catching weed on the titanium harness or a stinger or a double stinger, I would rig it on a jig head. So, because it's so shallow where I've been fishing, I've just rigged this jointed pro shad, the 14 centimetre size, on a five gram four row jig head. And it's nice having that little bit of weight at the front because it helps it track really nicely. And I can fish that on a straight retrieve or twitching it and pausing it, and that works really well too. So there's a variety of different ways that you can get this lure fishing for all types of situations. There are a couple of different ways that I like to fish the jointed pro shad. You can't really go too far wrong fishing it on a steady retrieve, just winding it back at a fairly steady pace. And it has a very subtle action, but it's the kind of action that can really switch the fish on. So, and that's how I've caught my fish today. The second way I like to fish it, if, if you want to impart a bit more movement into the lure, you can fish it on a stop-start retrieve. So if I cast out and demonstrate, I just use the reel handle to control the action of the lure. So I might give it two or three turns, pause it, another two turns, pause it, another two or three turns, and really just mix it up. So it's not just sort of like swimming um, and tracking in one direction. It's darting in, in, all different, um, in all different ways and it makes it a really erratic action. And when the fish are fired up, they absolutely slam it. So that's another really effective way of fishing this lure. So that's a little bit about how I like to fish the jointed pro shads. It's not been the easiest days fishing today, but by chopping and changing colours and retrieves, I've managed to put a fish on the bank, which has saved me from a blank. So I hope you're able to put some of the um, things I mentioned today into practice and you've learned something new and tight lines when you're out fishing next.